My name is Lisa Priya Kangujam. I'm eight years old. I'm from Manipur, India, and I'm a climate activist and also the founder of Child Movement. First of all, first of all, I would like to thank New Indian Express team for inviting me here to speak in this program. It's really an honor for me to be here amongst you all. And we're happy to see many of our minds in, in our, and our leaders in this hall. I feel cold outside, but I feel very warm inside this hall because of the great speech of the great people. But I would be more happy if I can see more children like me in this hall because Children should also take part in the decision-making process and in such discussion as we are the future of this nation. But anyway, I'm happy that I'm here to represent all of them. I trust my voice will be heard by everyone in this room and also by our leaders through new channels. Last month, very recently, I went to Madrid, Spain in the month of December for two weeks to attend the United Nations Climate Conference 2019, where everyone known as Compton 5 means Company of Parties. I went there to tell our leaders that this is the time to do action and it is a real climate emergency. I've also met United Nations Secretary General and Greater Tumble during that program. And also, I've met many world leaders in there. I've also heard many speeches from our leaders that they will do that, we will do that, we will tell them not to do, we will hear all your voice, we will, we will, we will. But at the end, COP25 was filled, just waste of time and money spending for two weeks. In the one of the most expensive city of the world. Our leaders failing us for last 25 years, even before I was born. When I was born, our leaders only met 16 times the cops, and the world already knew about the bad effects of climate change. Our policymakers from around the world just get here every year in the cops and doing nothing concrete for our future. Why should I come here? Why should I speak here? I have to go back to my school, I have to read my books, I have to play, I have to study. But our leaders do in all our child life and our beautiful future. This is not fair. You can just see in Arctic and Himalayas how icebergs are melting twice as fast and we are losing more species of animals than ever before. And how sea level increasing and our earth is becoming very hot and worried about the future of, of our planet. Many biodiversity hotspots become clam hotspots now. I think you all see in the news about Australia bushfire. More than one billion animals has died. Millions of trees has gone. I'm really very sad. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't even take my food. Many children lose their homes. This is a real effect of climate change. Our leaders don't have time to listen to us. Why they don't hear our voice? And also, you can just see in Delhi how air pollution is so dangerous and even children can't move out of the home and worry about the health of the school children and small, small babies. Government announced that there would be holidays for three days and again for five days, but this is not the solution. Our leaders are just busy in blaming each other instead of finding a long-term solution. They are just telling the speech. They are not doing any action. I want our leaders to do more action. Otherwise, our future would be dying soon. They must act now. That's why I invent a symbolic device called Sukifu. Sukifu means survival kit for the future. With the support of IIT Jammu, Professor Chandran Jagosar, we have developed that device. 
My device Sukifu and me want to send a strong message about the environmental depletion and resilience to the whole world. My device also wants to question our plan on our future and environmental degradation. It will also give attention to the world leader scientists, experts, pollution control board who are responsible for a safe future. My device will also give fresh air to our lungs and it will save our health from high air pollution. I'm, I'm coming to tell our leaders that you must change your way of thinking. As a child, I feel that there's something wrong with the world of elders. In the news, I heard that environment minister tell air pollution doesn't affect our health and it doesn't kill any people. But more than 12 million children and people of the world has died due to air pollution. How we can say that? That air pollution doesn't affect the health and it doesn't kill any people. He should be shy what he is telling. And also how we can be our environment minister. I'm only a child yet. But I know all the money spent on war if we spend on finding environmental answers. Ending poverty and giving education, then what a wonderful place this all would be. Millions of people are planting millions of trees to save our planet and to save our future. But some, some leaders are destroying our beautiful planet and our beautiful future. And also the hopes, the dreams of millions of children like me. In the wars they are losing their parents or people becoming homeless due to the danger of wars. So I would like to appeal to all our world leaders to conflict wars immediately in the interest of millions of children of the world. In July 2018, when I was just six years old, I have got the chance to attend one United Nations Disaster Conference 2018 in Mongolia. And Mongolia government has chosen me to attend that program. I've got lots of inspiration and knowledge from the people who tell the speech during that program. I get scared when on television I see people suffering and dying due to lack of awareness. I cry when I see children losing their parents or people becoming homeless due to the danger of disaster. My country has many disasters like earthquake, flood, landslide, etc. But my heart feels so for people who cannot help themselves when disaster strike. But I know there are millions of brave people who have came to lend their hands with courage to save those in need. I get very happy when I see risk of saving children and their parents from dangers. It was, it was my life-changing event. After I returned back from Mongolia in July 2018, I've started my organization called the Child Movement to call our world leaders to take urgent climate action to save our plan and to save our future. As a part of my movement, I travel over 21 countries. Greater Thunberg greatly influenced me in February 2019. Since then, at Parliament House of India, I'm standing and I'm telling to our hundred brands of India, Mr. Narendra Modi and our MPs to pass the glam change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. I dropped off my school since February 2019 due to my protest every week in the Parliament House. I also demand our government to include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school curriculum. And students must plant minimum 10 trees every year. In India, we have 300, 3 point, uh, 350 million students. If 350 million students plant minimum 10 trees every year, then we would have, then we would plant 3.5 billion trees. Trust me, India will be green in after five years. <laughs> 
animals are dying due to plastics. So please do not throw garbage or plastics on streets, ocean, river, and seas, and anywhere else. And also, I have a small message to the children of the world to tell their parents to not cut down the trees. They should plant more trees. If they cut one tree, then plant 100 trees. And please do not use single-use plastic. If you don't want to use AC at home, then plant minimum 10, 20 trees in your home surroundings. Then definitely you will get fresh air to breathe and the cool air. These all will help us to protect our environment and to save our future. I'll fight until my goal achieved. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. Change is possible. We will continue to give more pressure to our world leaders. What we want is not about today or tomorrow, but what needs to be done now. Thank you. Jai Hind, Sanalabha Manipurna, Jai Thank you once again. <laughs>